Hello, welcome to my tutorial on how to install FFmpeg-PHP. This is one of the most requested um, tutorials that I have and for a long time I've avoided it because it's quite difficult to set up, um, or was anyways, and I, didn't even, I couldn't find my source files that I'm always asked for. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you where to find those and how to even set it up for um, version P P PHP version 5.3. Um, there's a few catches here and I'll go ahead and walk you through those. To get started let's go ahead and download ffmpeg-php. We do that by going to sergey89.ru forward slash files forward slash ffmpeg-php Alright and right here we have um, ffmpeg uh, php 5.3 we'll go ahead and download this file we can also see that it's been updated um, as of March of last year so that's great and we'll go ahead and save this file alright once we get that downloaded um, also do need to note that um, I'm using XAMPP version 1.7.4 um, it's not the most current version and the reason is because the way uh, how he compiled this ffmpeg-php it requires um, PHP to be compiled with Video Studio 6 compiler and any version of PHP I think it was 5.3.6 or newer um, does not have the um, VC6 version anymore and uh, after doing some digging I found out XAMPP 1.7.4 was the last one to be compiled that way so if you have not installed this you're going to need this version of XAMPP or PHP um, for you PHP gurus that want to uh, run your own Apache server and install PHP manually um, I'll show you where to get that version we'll go to windows.php.net backslash download I think it is yeah alright and you'll look right over here um, you go down here and you find the archives you want to click on archives and we'll go down to 5.3 okay it was 5.3.5 .5, my bad and what we want is the MSI that's the installer <clears throat> and this is for Windows 32 um, I don't know what about Windows 36 uh, 64 bit I mean because I haven't um, I haven't tried that yet but for this tutorial based on Windows 32 this would be the one you would want and so anyways we'll move on to uh, FFmpeg we'll want to unzip these files so I'll just extract all of them right here. All right. And so inside here we have all of our great files. Um, we need to go to our XAMPP folder. So I'll go ahead and open that. Go to XAMPP. Then we have our PHP folder. And we will go to the EXT. That's for our extensions and then we're going to want to copy this one right here php underscore ffmpeg dot dll so let's just copy that over alright I just did control c and control v control c copies it control v pastes, pastes it alright now we need to select all the rest of the files we can exclude these and then once again I'll just go ahead and copy those and then I'll want to go to my C drive Windows um, system 32 and I'll just go down here somewhere right click and then paste and then okay it says that I've already I've already done this once so I'll just copy and paste those there alright now the next thing I need to do is to edit my PHP config file 
So back over here in our XAMPP PHP folder, we'll want to find our PHP.ini file. In Windows, um, you probably won't see the extension. I've turned it on to show the extension. And I'll just go ahead and open this up. All right, now I'm going to want to go down and find where my extensions are. You can actually enter this pretty much anywhere here. Um, but I like to keep uh, keep it together because it's a lot easier for me to find later if I need to find it again. All right, so I'm going to go right down here to the bottom of this long list of extensions. And then I'm going to add our PHP FFmpeg extension. Alright, and then I'm going to save my changes. And with any luck at all, whenever I restart Apache, well, you shouldn't have any problem. Alright, so we're good to go. Now, to test this out and make sure that it works correctly, um, we can go in our XAMPP control panel, but since some people may be using Apache and not XAMPP, I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. Um, the other way. I'll go to htdocs and here I'm going to create a new folder ffmpeg alright and then in here I'm going to create a new document um, since I do have extensions turned on if you don't have extensions turned on your um, I'll show you how to do that in just a second I'll go ahead and do a uh, PHP info dot PHP and that'll be great if you don't see the dot uh, txt extension go in here to folder and search options go to view and then uncheck the hide extensions for known file types once you do that click apply or whatever and then you should be able to remove the txt and change it to PHP um, You'll choose to open it with Notepad. That'll be perfectly fine. All right, and then to check and make sure our PHP um, FFmpeg extension is loaded, we'll just do PHP info like this, and then we'll just click File and Save. And you want to make sure that you delete that this file right here um, before you make it public, because that can pose a security risk. All right, now we'll go localhost uh, ffmpeg and then phpinfo.php. All right, now what we're going to search for, we're going to go ahead and scroll down and find our ffmpeg. Now they are alphabetically, these are each extensions that are loaded, they, and they are in alphabetical order. So I just saw it. There we go. And as you can see, we have it. Um, We've got it loaded and um, everything looks great. So the next step will be to um, give it a test. Let's test out the FFmpeg extension. Now, I know what you're wondering is, what about FFmpeg itself? Um, that is not needed to use this extension. Um, that is only for direct conversions and stuff like that. But FFmpeg-php is just to read um, video information. So. Alright, so the next step is going to be to go ahead and grab our uh, test script. Okay, we'll go ahead and copy all this. Whoopsie. Alright, make sure we copy all the lines. And then I'll go over here to... Uh, we don't need that. There we are. And what we'll do, we'll go ahead and create a new document like we did the uh, php.info. And then we'll call this ffmpeg.php. We'll go ahead and click yes and we'll open this up. And then we're going to paste all that code that we just got. Now, this is where we do need to make one change to this file. We need to specify our video. This is the video that we're going to use as our test video. Now what I did was I opened up and grabbed the um, go to my computer um, 
I'll go to videos under libraries and I've got a folder called sample videos and then I'm just going to copy this video here as my sample video and then I'm going to go ahead and paste that straight in the directory with this file so that's very important that it's in that same directory alright so we'll go back here and we want to type in wildlife right here dot WMV make sure you don't remove the uh, single quote mark and then we'll go ahead and click save and now we should be able to go to where was our uh, PHP info we'll go to FF mpeg.php and click enter and here we are it um, gives us all the information about that video and that is how FFmpeg works and now somebody that can code PHP can integrate this feature and extract information about the video um, so there's your tutorial on how to install FFmpeg-php um, for Windows well, I'm using Windows 7 32-bit, but um, I guess it'd be pretty much the same on all 32-bit platforms.